All right, shalom, shalom. I'd say all praises due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. This is Tazi off GMS Boston coming back with a quick and prompt too. You know, just meditating on the, <clears throat> the coming of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad. And within that, you know, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, and uh, all these prophecies just falling into a, a play, right? And uh, I just was watching the video with uh, Elder Apostle Taha going into what's going on with uh, up there in Canada and uh, with troops being moved around, okay, into the regular workforce. Now, it was some time ago that uh, <clears throat> the 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 elder brother Malcolm, okay, the beloved brother Malcolm, and this was probably like maybe two, maybe three years ago, but he said it's a uh, strange men joining his dojo, okay, and uh. Yeah, this this thing's about to go uh go hot, man. All right, it's this this plan of <clears throat> martial law. That's what I'm speaking on. But uh, nevertheless, right, you got uh these these uh soldiers being put into regular regular play in everyday life due to the mandates. What's going forward? All right, and um, yeah, they they they're infiltrating. That's what they're doing, and it doesn't even have to be from America because you know these other troops can come in and infiltrate as well, man. Just like uh, what we got going on now. Now we got the Taliban. The Taliban is gonna be here also, <laughs> you know. So everybody's rushing rushing to. Uh, America to get in America okay to plunder it because they know that this is the city where <clears throat> you know it was supposed to be the richest city on earth okay when I say that the country Babylon the great and uh this is this is why the Lord is setting it up that's so man Okay, he's getting ready to take this place out with a uh, <laughs> with a magnificent blow, so to speak. So yeah, when you're watching these these troops being put into regular jobs, like here in Massachusetts, they're driving buses. All right, because they haven't really came down on the medical field as of yet, but. Also, these troops are also going to be policing the streets, man. Here in Massachusetts, man, we have a problem right now with is no state troopers. <laughs> so out there on the highway, man, it, it's people doing 100 miles per hour like it's the Autobahn, okay? First thing in the morning. So it's no, it's no state troopers really in, in Massachusetts, man. It's few and far in between, man. So what's going to happen is they say they got uh, certain police that's policing, but it ain't no police cars on the on the freeway. And um, <clears throat> what'll happen is eventually there will be uh, national guardsmen, you know, on the highways as well. Why? Because you know why. It says it all in the scriptures, man. This is this is one way that he can stop you from going from point A to point B. Checkpoints. See, he saw he he's a he's a, a subtile serp, serpent, and gradualism is his is is his game, man. Okay. Choke points. All right, that's what he's doing. He implements uh, uh, <coughs> putting troops to drive your kids around. If they want to take your kids, they'll take your kids, period. 
They'll put them on the school bus and they'll drive them to those facilities where you'll never see your kids ever again. And we know that to be true. Why? Because of things that happen on the border. Okay? These people are being put in place strategically to stop you from getting uh, 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 services, uh, you know, going to free travel, you know. Just look at the hospital in New York. Okay, eventually that hospital is going to be <laughs> going to be ran like the military wants it to be ran. And to get these uh these notions of the prophecies, you have to watch movies, man. When you watch that movie The Siege with Denzel Washington, okay? It's easy. It's easy because Americans are stupid <laughs> and easily conned, man. Somebody got their money took in three card money in America. A lot of people did when that game was the hot game on the city streets. And the same thing is happening now. I got a couple of scriptures and then I'm going to close it down, man. But, yeah, man, when you, when you look at how things are being played out and what's going on, it won't be too much longer, man. It won't be too much longer. Let's get a couple of scriptures and then I'm going to close it out. All right, let's read. Uh, <clears throat> Second Edgar 15, I'm going to jump around. All right. This is uh, Second Edgar 15. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. All right. And as I had stated at the beginning of the video, this is what we're seeing. We're seeing prophecy, man. Okay. That's being played out right now in real time. And it was foretold by Yahweh Shai, the king of all kings, the son of Yahweh, okay, through the spirit, all right, <clears throat> and caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So you knew it was going to happen, okay, as sure as you were touched by the Holy Spirit, okay, these, these words in the book. Are faithful and true and they're, they're happening as we speak you know you pull up news articles like the one that uh let's get that real quick i'll show you what i was just watching elder taha right and you can see in the background it says up to three military teams are being deployed in Ontario hospital to do, to deal with surge of COVID-19 patients okay and which we know that's a, a farce all right it's, it's fake fake news okay but uh <clears throat> what we have is a subtile plan to to do a, a, a insurrection on the people. Okay. So they're, they're surrounding. The people. With they subtile ways man. So. It's, it's no mistake about it. <clears throat> we all seen the TikTok video. Of the. Uh, the equipment being moved around. Right. And another thing, the reason why they're putting uh, military personnel inside these hospitals, man, because when this supply chain breaks, man, you won't be able to get uh, medical supplies as well, man. You see? So they're going to have to have that on guard because the troops will need medical attention faster than anybody. Okay. 
and they want to make sure that 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 area is secured and locked down man the hospitals so yeah this this thing is about to ramp up man it's about to make serious serious moves right now all right <clears throat> see go back to that second address jump down to uh let me jump down to uh, 12 it says egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that yahweh shall bring upon it they that till the ground shall mourn, right? The famine's coming, all right? For their seeds shall fell through the blasting in hell and with a fearful constellation, all right? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, all right? So destruction is coming. People are uh, uh, still partying it up, trying to settle on their lease, so to speak, all right? And the Lord, he, he just gonna, he's going to black out everything. It's not going to be anything to rejoice over. It's not going to be anything to have merriment in, okay? And the future is going to be uh, blacked out. Because the, the, the real uh, kingdom, so to speak, is about to come online. All right, the the real great reset is about to happen. All right, just like when you turn off uh, your computer and you do a reboot, right? This is what's about to happen to America. The stock market is going to crash. Everything's going to be bleak. And then when the light come back on, it's going to be Yahweh Shai and his heavenly host coming down. All right. And I'm, you know. Just going according to the scriptures, right? And they're gonna they're gonna fight with this uh this ragtag band of military against the ragtag band of military, okay? Because it's gonna be different armies uh pieced together to try to, you know, subdue the Lord when he comes out of the waters, okay? It says, for there shall be sedition among men in the invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand. Well, let me go up, because I skipped something. I skipped through verse 15. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right? And the modern day sword is, uh, uh, how can you say it? Uh, a gun, right? That's the modern day sword. And when you uh look at it all, it's it's about to be carnage out here, man. Mayhem to the tenth power, or the hundred and forty-four power. <laughs> Let's put it like that. But that's what's about to happen. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Okay? And that's why they, they're going to, you know, replace these uh, state troopers, right, with these uh, national guardsmen. And eventually it's going to be on every highway, just not some highways, but every highway. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out, man, how how this devil is moving, man. You know, in the scriptures, it says this. So I can 
Yeah, I found it. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, right? For we are not ignorant of his devices, all right, his plans, all right? And it was well thought out, man, that through these mandates, this is how they're removing the people that they need to remove in order for these uh, blockades to happen, in order for a securement of, of, you know, medical facilities to happen and for, you know, the, the, the transportation. Because once they have the city buses, you know, they can go around neighborhoods and literally they can pick up the whole neighborhood. Just like you've seen in that movie, uh, what's that movie? I think it's called The Fifth Wave. How they was going through the, 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 uh, to the camps and picking up the kids on the buses and transporting them off. And also the people take people one way, the adults one way and the kids another. You see? So these are all things that you should be uh, meditating on through the, through the scriptures, man. You know? So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Right? And, uh, <clears throat> Hey, pray that the Lord have mercy on you and deliver you and your uh, your families and the, the brothers, you know, in that hour of temptation, man. Because it's, it's about to blow up. The powder keg is lit, man. It's tick ticking. So with that, I want to say Shalom, Abad Babal, and Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.